Our last night literally just made an open invitation for criticism. Let's talk about it and check it out. Oh boy. The band Our Last Night just dropped a new track called No Help. And at the very end, it has parentheses and says copyright free. Let's talk about that for one quick second. And I respect the living crap out of it. All right. So this totally says a couple things. Number one, they are making an open invitation to reactions because normally when reaction channels have to react to something or get to react to something they get a copyright claim immediately and it sucks so honestly you guys this is a big move and i hope a lot of bands actually take after this and kind of go this copyright free method our last night huge huge thing and i honestly respect this a lot i respect this so much actually number two i'm not actually the biggest follower of our last night now i used to love these guys so much i used to listen to their first two studio albums relentlessly kind of dropped off after the third one but i will say this number one they are the leaders in covers they've got it mastered they've got it figured out and honestly i respect their hustle in that in the cover game number two this band releases more music than freaking any other metalcore band on planet earth i swear they have the biggest discography if you don't believe me go look into it so um even more respect for how much music these guys actually create despite me not actually being there you know even really like a decent fan in the first place number three i think this song is actually gonna rip i think it's gonna be awesome they knew exactly what they're doing our last night is super smart they put copyright free at the end of this specifically inviting reactors and you only invite reactors when you think you got something worth reacting to so we're gonna give them the honest opinion you know i've been listening to these guys off and on for <laughs> well over a decade so i've kind of got their discography and I, I kind of know what's in their wheelhouse but we're gonna give them the honest the honest opinion here and you know what if anything, we're going into this with a, a high level of respect for this band. So let's just jump right into this guy. I apologize for the extremely long-winded intro. Okay, okay, let me alone. We're going to hit this in 3, 2, 1, go. But I had to do it. I, I literally just had to. The Turn it up. No Yo. All right. If this drops. Bro. <laughs> Yo, dude, they know what they're doing, man. All right, dude. Down to a three-piecer. All right. Dude. <laughs> I actually really like that. Yo, and it's a screw the like let the label song too. I'm in. Bro, this riff is fire. Bum -bum. All right, all right. For the past 20 years, Little bridge, I'm in. Is this a pre-chorus? The future felt unstable, stuck on a record label. The final nail in the coffin. The Grim Reaper not Yo. Bro. Put him on the map, dude. Put him back on the map. <laughs> now if we have a breakdown right here there's no way this is a build up it's not shut up dude some triplets Shut the heck up, man. No way did that just happen. You guys, let me just be totally real with you. I mean, yes, I went in kind of 
stoked already because they removed the copyright claim. They kind of, that's a big claim, dude. If you're saying that this is copyright free, come check it out, come react to it. You got something cool. This was totally written for the fans, man, 100%. I think that, I don't know, maybe they got some criticism over the last couple years. Like, why are you guys just writing covers all the time? You know, the answer is because it pays the bills. This one is for the fans, straight up. This is a for the fans song. To the end, dude, and I'm in. I am so in. I have not vibed with an Our Last Night song since When We Evolve, okay? Or I don't even, we all evolve. I can't even remember the name of that album, but <laughs> dude, I'm, I'm on board with this, you guys. I just think that this song structure worked very well. It, I mean, it was very, it didn't necessarily follow a verse, chorus, verse, chorus, but neither did a lot of their older music at all. Go back and listen to their first two albums. They had choruses, but it did not follow a strict verse, chorus, verse, chorus. This was like verse, pre-chorus, screaming things, screaming this, screaming that. They had a breakdown. Dude, I was all about this. And the, the nice cherry on the top of the cake is that this was a screw you to the industry song as well. 100% and I know that these guys actually got screwed by I can't remember maybe Sumerian records and dude go look into that as well Big Corp music dude. They're out to screw these bands So, you know, I think that our last night has really come a long ways You guys got to give these guys a ton of credit for where they came from They've been in the game for well over a decade and they're still holding strong I think this is a huge move for our last night removing the copyright, inviting people to check this out Inviting the reactors to listen to this and you know what when you put out a song as good as that we're all down for it. This was OG, man. This was straight up OG. You guys can hate me for that, for saying that I'm down with it. Whatever, I'm in. You know what? Our last night, you guys are on the map again. If you didn't release so much friggin' music, I'd be in. You guys have at least like 13 full-length albums. I cannot keep up, but this song, put them on the map, you guys. Let me know what you thought. Does it two-step approve? Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. We'll catch you on the next video.